What's up everybody? Welcome to Dirt Soldiers MX and the Motocross Training Academy. We had a member of the Dirt Soldiers MX Army send me a question for one of his goals for 2014 and what, what he was having a problem with was he's having a lot of arm pump when he was racing motocross. And one of the things he said in there was that he was gripping the, the handlebars tight. So I just want to give you a rundown on, on to help you uh, how to eliminate arm pump, how to to uh, move away and to help you with your arm pump when racing motocross. And one of the biggest things I see is, and I notice with teaching my schools and with amateurs is, is it's incorrect body position. That's the biggest thing. There's, I'll talk at the end, there's a little bit on diet, there's a little bit, there's a lot to do with your breathing, but the biggest thing I see is incorrect body position. So I just wanna run over this real quick and uh, help you out if you're having a lot of trouble with arm pump. And what the first thing you wanna do is you wanna be in the correct body position, the center of balance. And that is, I'm not going to go into it and run over all of it, but if you go to the uh, two fundamental technique videos on my free video page, that'll give you a rundown of the whole thing. But what you want to be is in the center of balance, okay? Knees tight against the bike, elbows out, head over the handlebar mounts, knee joint over the ankle joints. And the biggest thing with, with arm pump is, is you want to keep these knees tight against the bike. You want to have these knees, I mean, you want to be gripping the bike with these knees. And you want to carry all the weight down in through your legs, from your, from your hips, down through your legs, into the foot pegs. That lowers the center of gravity of the bike. And you want to carry no weight through your upper body, through your shoulders, and through your, uh, through your stomach area, up into your chest, and up into your, up into your shoulders and your arms. You don't want to carry weight on these handlebars. And that's a big mistake I see amateurs making. And you, you do that. How you, how you, how you, uh, how you, man, I can't get it out, sorry. How you not carry the weight in the handlebars is by gripping the bike with these knees. See, if I go back and I'm, I'm gripping, I can hold myself up with these knees. As soon as I release these knees, I'm down. And what happens is, is guys leave loose and they leave, they hold on tight here now because this is the other place where they're gripping the bike. They have a little bit on the pegs with their feet, but other than that, the only other place they're gripping the bike is here. So you have a tendency to really grip hard here. And what happens is, is you're putting a lot of weight up on the handlebars, and that's not where you necessarily want the weight, whatever the situation may be. You know, ruts, jumps, whoops. You want to maybe be in the center of balance, or you want to be back on, weight in the back of the bike. And this leaves you to stay right here in this position and grip this bike hard, and what'll happen is, it'll wear your arms right out really quickly. So get, the biggest thing you can do is grip this bike with your knees. That's gonna, that's, you can just release your hands off the handlebars then. If you see freestyle riders, sometimes you'll see these guys do backflips and actually land the bike on a landing without, with no hands. That's how they're doing it with the knees. You can control the bike and everything. That's the biggest thing. The other thing in the center of balance is, I see a lot of problems that guys make in crates arm pump is, they don't move right on the bike. And this is the general rule. And if you follow this rule, it'll help you tremendously. You want to lean forward into the force of acceleration. So when you're powering out of a corner, say for example, you want to lean forward into that force of acceleration. Because what will happen is, is if you stay back here and you're powering hard, all that power is going to the back wheel, it's going to pull you back here like this, right there. It puts all that pressure on the arms and it's going to create arm pump. So, you know, in the standing or the seated, most of the times coming out of corners, you're going to be in the seated, lean forward into the force of acceleration. As you're powering this, giving this thing throttle, lean forward into that force. So it don't, if you used to stay right here and start to power out there, it's going to pull back on your arms. It's going to create arm pump. The other thing is, is go back against the force of braking. So as you're coming into a corner, say for example, and you're under hard braking, go back, slot pivot, on your foot pegs with your knees still tight, keep your knees tight, slide back, do your hard braking, and then as you transition into the point of the, the turn where it goes from entering the corner to exiting as you're about to throttle out, uh, come back to the center of balance, you know you're going to go down, and then lean forward into your force of acceleration. And what that does is, when you go back against the force of braking, it's not putting all that weight back up here again because you're all that as you're braking hard, all that momentum and force is coming forward. If you used to stay up here now and you're braking hard, it's going to push you forward and put all that pressure on your arms again and create arm pump. So guys, that's that's the biggest thing I see. Okay, keep your knees tight. Always be tight. Pivot on this bike tight with your knees tight. You can come back against the force of braking like this. Leave your hands go. If I just release my knees, I'm going down. That's going to help big time. The other thing is, 
the general rule, and if you start doing this, you'll see mass improvements. Lean forward into the force of acceleration, go back against the force of braking. That won't put all that pressure in your arms. The other thing is carry all the weight with your knees tight down into the foot pegs. Leave this upper body completely loose. You don't want to carry no weight into these handlebars. Okay, um, the other thing is, there's, uh, is diet. Look around Dirt Soldiers MX. I got a lot of uh, tips on your diet and your cardio. That'll, uh, that's another thing that'll, that'll hurt you in your, uh, that'll affect your, it'll give you arm pump. So you want to work on your cardio. You just want to find a good program and start working on your cardio. Another big one is, as I see a lot, is guys freeze up when they're either practicing, especially racing, and they don't breathe. So you'll want to take deep breaths and you just want to find a spot on the track and keep it in your memory, like maybe off a jump, you're going to take a deep breath. Because what happens, as soon as you lock up and you start forget to breathe, no oxygen to the muscles and your arms are going to tense up real, real quick right away. But the biggest thing is this center of balance and being in the incorrect, uh, incorrect body position and the knees not tight against the bike. So start practicing that, I guarantee you're going to start to see where... Um, uh, arm pump starts to be eliminated by correcting the, by doing the correct center of balance and keep them knees tight, carry the weight down in through, into your foot pegs, not into your handlebars. Breathe and uh, work on your cardio. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.